like to start uh, with the campaign activities uh, as regards to the Aban North, Aban South Federal Constituency by election, yes. which is coming up on the 27th of this month. Yes. And we already have on the line the candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Honorable Mascot Uzokal. Honorable, good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning, Flo FM. Good morning, my brother, Mabuku Okoro. Good morning, Waba. All right. Welcome. Now, let's start. Uh, I want to know what has been the campaign activities like? Uh, has it started? What is the situation right now? Well, we are campaigning. Uh, we are doing an um, uh, information-based campaign where we're telling people what we're going to do for them, the uh, things to expect from us uh, if elected. Unfortunately, some other political parties are busy doing crimes and uh, a racist campaign uh, trying to inspire indigenous people against the people who are not uh, from, are not quote unquote, son of the soil. Mm -hmm. So it's unfortunate rather than them telling them what they'll be able to do for them, how they will improve the amenities and improve the life and situation of the people of Aba, and they're busy doing all the those things. So we are, but we are busy doing our, uh, our campaign, letting people know what to expect, letting people know the projects that federal government have brought in, uh, that some of the projects that, uh, that are at the state government are trying to claim, like the projects going on around uh, uh, Ngwa Road or Hanku Road, which is a, I know is a, is a World Bank project. It started from when I was chief of staff, attracted by Ngozi Okonji Wala, mm. and the state government are trying to attract it and say it's their own project. Well, we know it's not their project. Let them talk about the projects or what they've done in about six years that they've been in the power. And why, why they feel that a House of Rep member of Abba, not Abba, will give them all the glory of what they need to do for Abba people. When, as, as government of Adia State, they have not been able to improve the life and property of the people in Abba in the last six years. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But we know all the undertoning things about the whole Abba the situation. But it's not going to deter us from focusing on our message from telling the people and working for the people. All right, Honorable, uh, talking about the campaign focus, uh, I understand that the man, the, uh, the, the Honorable that was there, the, may God rest his soul, Honorable Usi Prestige, did a whole lot. Now tell us the focus of your campaign as you've kick-started. Yes, well, we, we've told the people that uh, as we campaign, people tell us some of the things that they feel that when he was there, he did well, and we promised um, to continue some of those projects. And one of those number one projects is lack of the state government to provide good roads of amenities. Uh, the OSC Prestige was, uh, um, at the time, was making sure that he graded roads for those people that live inside the interior part of Baba. And from our conversation with people, that's one of the major things that they want us to continue, and we promise that we'll continue them. Uh, we also promised them that uh, part of as our, as our duty in uh, uh, making budgets that we make sure we provide some things that are supposed to be in there through uh, uh, federal budgets and through power starters to make sure that some rules as well are included in those power starters budgets, like for example, through uh, uh, LEDC bu budget, through uh, payment budget, to make sure some of our people can enjoy some of good rules as well, mm -hmm. or maintenance of rules as it may be. Uh, in the interior part of Abandon uh, uh, South. We've also talked about making sure um, the programs, so, some programs like um, making sure they have transformers that will be available, uh, solar panels that will be available, which comes available through different parts. That is basically letting them know that anything that is due to Abandon South will be brought back to Abandon South. I will not convert any single money or budget into my own private project. Okay, now let's talk about party politics. Uh, of course, before one can achieve his aim politically, you must consider the issue of structure. Now tell us uh, what uh, the relationship like in Aba, North and South. I understand that some of uh, party stalwarts in that area, they are not in good terms with you and uh, probably the o OUK family dynasty. What is the situation like now? I'm talking about... Uh, the likes of uh, the eco Nez and all the rest of them. What is the relationship like? Well, um, uh, I, I, I wouldn't want to dwell on 
maybe you hear say or, or from media and from side talks. Mm. Uh, I've shared a very warm relationship with the Ikonu family. My family have shared a very warm relationship with the Ikonu family. Uh, our relationship is not is not politically related. It's one that started in the 70s and is one that is still going on. Um, if there were talks like that, I think there are talks that you know that can be settled in house. Um, things could be said before primaries, and uh, since after primaries, I believe we've uh, come together as a family uh, to forge ahead. Uh, so I won't want to uh, dwell on side talks. Okay, before the emergence, I, I understand that there were some issues with uh, the, somebody that was actually supposed to have contested with you. Have you made up with the same person that uh, actually contested or that was supposed to have contested with you before the primary? I um, uh, I, I, I believe you're talking about Dr. Wokocha. I've extended the hands of friendship to him. Mm. I've had a series of meetings with him for him to come together and let us work and grow the name of APC in Abano Taba South. And uh, I, I, will, I hope that we are making, making pro progress. I hope that we're making progress. All right. Uh, so many people also believe that uh, you coming on board uh, appear to be like a one-man show, considering the fact that your brother, the former governor and the Senate chief whip, is also in the National Assembly. And you again coming on board, considering the fact that your brother as well uh, was actually represented at Banot and Abbas South in the past. And there you are coming to vie for this position again. How are you going to navigate through this? Well, uh, the question about those are those are how do I explain it? Uh, those are issues that should not be an issue, mm -hmm. uh, and the right thing should not be an issue. The representation we need is the representation of cap capacity and capability. It's not about whether my brother was or my brother was not. You go to a family, and every member of that family are all police officers, mm -hmm. or you go to a family, all of them are lawyers. Uh, does it mean that? Uh, if one is handling a high-profile case, the other one cannot handle a high-profile case at the same time. Uh, you have probably, coming to your family, you have brothers or sisters, two, three, at the end, in that family. So we, I, I come from a political family, and I have no apologies for it. Yes. The question is, who can deliver what is necessary to make the community move, to make the people happy? It should not be... It should not be, oh, his brother was this. So because my brother, uh, my brothers have been that, I should not inspire to be great, to be greater. It's very unfair when people say those things. If I was not, if I don't have capacity to do the work, that's what people should talk about. That's what people should talk about. It's not about his brother was this. If you go to the U.S., Bush Sr. was yes. president. Yes. Huh? Yes. He left. His two sons became governor. Two sons became governor. As they were still governor, one became president. Yes. The other one still became governor. Was still governor. Yes. Go back to New York. New York as a city. In the last 40 years, the Cuomo's have ruled New York for 20 something years. Yes. Even with New York being so big, the Cuomo's, the father ruled for 12 years, the son now is ruling for 12 years. In the last 40, 40 something years, they've ruled in, in, in uh, New York City. These are not the ways our people should be thinking. The people should think who has the capacity to bring and do the work. That's what it should be about. It should not be about whether his uh, brother has done this, this one, this one has done that. It's not about that. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. It's not. It should not be about that. Yes. Okay. And it's unfortunate that some people bring it up. Very, very. All right, uh, now let's uh, talk about the mega rally. I understand that PDP had done theirs. Uh, the governor was there, and uh, who is who in PDP, they actually came to support one of their own. When is APC mega rally for Abanot and Abbasad going to happen? Uh, well, they'll put the, uh, the uh, caucus will make a decision very soon and will release that information to, uh, to the public. All right. Honorable Mascot Ozokalo, candidate for the All Progressives Congress for Abanot, Abasout Federal Constituency by election. Thank you so much for joining us on the program this morning. Thank you very much. All Thank right. you, Mwaba. God bless you.